What's up guys? Welcome to Exactly Gaming. My name is Zach and today we are back with more 60 seconds re-atomized. That's right. Last time we left off, apparently we gave up all our food for water. It's been a bit since I played. I don't know how we have 7.25 water and 1.25 food, but we managed to do it in Mary Jane 6. So hopefully Dolores is out gathering supplies. Like I said, it's been a bit. What do you know? Combining American innovation and deadly bug spray can result in just enough drugs to replenish an empty first aid kit. We'll worry about the side effects later. Hey, so it looks like we were making a first aid kit in the last one, so that's very good. So let's go ahead and get Mary Jane healed up, give her some food and water to make her feel better, and Ted's doing fine, so we won't give him anything. Ted and Mary Jane have been butting heads lately. Today they got into an argument about movie characters. Specifically, who would win an ultimate battle, mutated Godzilla or mutated King Kong? It's a tricky one for sure, and the debate is heated. Who will come out on top? Uh, let's say Mary Jane wins this one. She's sick. Why not? Let her win this one. Ooh, day 19. Nice. All right. Mary Jane used some small bits and pieces from her pocket to award points for arguments and track the debate's progress. Between a bunch of buttons, dust bunnies, and some little rocks, we found several rifle bullets. The discovery made Ted and Mary Jane finally drop the topic. Hey, there we go. And she still needs a little bit. I just gave her fucking food. How about that lake we've been going to the past few years? It'd be so good to find ourselves there. Far away from all this madness. Swim a little. Maybe take a boat ride. Even if the whole place turned into Adamville. Yeah, I think it's probably not great now. I don't think you want to go to that lake in the nuclear apocalypse. I think it's better in theory. Still, it's better to be safe down here than dead up there. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. All right, hungry. Dehydration. I'm honestly playing a fun mental game with myself where I can't remember <laughs> if Dolores is alive or dead. I think she's alive and getting supplies, but I can't remember. We received a mysterious note today, politely requesting that we share some supplies with other survivors. We have no idea who it might be from, but whoever wrote this also included a few words of encouragement, saying it will be some way rewarded for our generosity. Should we do it? I mean, yeah, it's our last soup can, sure. That'll be what we... If Dolores doesn't come back, we're definitely screwed now. Usually I watch the ends of the last episode, but I, I didn't this time, so we're, we're flying blind. The authors of the note turned out to be twin siblings, a brother and sister. They greeted us happily and took a small tent where they started handing out the supplies we brought to a small group of hungry survivors. Between them were people of all ages, including children, the elderly, and even a mime. You know that mime age? The siblings shook our hands and proclaimed this is the beginning of a new friendship. They promised to contact us again soon. Well, that's good because we don't have any food, really. So we're just kind of hanging out. Do I have any food? No, I have zero. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> Before the world turned into an unforgiving dead wasteland, there were friends with most everybody in our town, including the old man Jim, who would shamble through our street and often ask and say hello. When we wanted to visit him once, he gave us an address that took us to a park. Old man Jim is such a joker. It appears that he survives the blast since he's at our door right now, asking if we want to buy a rock. Yeah, we'll buy a rock from Jim. Maybe we can eat it. Day 22. Right. We opened the door and greeted the old man with a smile. He was eager to show us a big bag filled with a rich choice of rocks and convinced us to take one for free for old time's sake. We agreed, carefully chose the best looking rock, and the man left. We can't complain. It's a good rock, really. Also, he claimed it brings luck. We'll see about that. Mary Jane isn't looking very good. She hasn't eaten in a while. All right. Dehydration. Well, we can solve that problem. Today, an army broadcast interrupted our... Let's just call it breakfast. Anyway, they seemed very eager to evacuate us away from here, but then we went over several things that needed to happen before they'd do it. First item on the list is up to us. We were given a geographical coordinates and need to get there to leave the sign we're still alive. This should be easy with a map. God, Dolores has got to be back soon. Yep, because it wouldn't let me go out. I just remembered she was gone because it won't let me go out. And yes, she's back! No food?! Are you fucking shitting me, Dolores? You got more water, you son of a bitch! Oh, and she's sick. Oh, fuck. We're screwed. We were sure we could find the location without a map. We were wrong. Hopefully we'll get lucky next time. We were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. The nuke did most of the destructive work, but gasoline reserves made the nearby gas station blew up as well. Blew up? Made the... Oh, reserves under. I thought it said made. Under the nearby gas station blew up as well. All that was left of the place was a crippled cashier's booth and the remains of several cars. Someone might have thought 60 seconds was enough to f for a gas refill and a quick getaway. They thought wrong. A few water bottles were scattered around in the cashier's booth. None of the explosions damaged them. It's funny how that pipe shadow got burned into the wall. Yeah, so we grabbed one. Nice. One of the car- and there were a few, and we just grabbed one of them. One of the cars had a map inside of it. After perusing the chart, we noticed a label which read, Time Machine Hidden Here. A bit red X marks a spot. Well, that's interesting. Okay. 
We stumbled upon a half-eaten sandwich, the cashier's booth, and some bug spray. We believe that our expedition to the wasteland must have been followed by strangers. We should be more cautious next time. Okay. Or she's really tired, and she's sick, and somebody's gonna starve to death eventually. Ted, you gotta go. Yesterday, during charades, we learned that Mary Jane doesn't know how to spell anti-disestablishmentarianism, but I can spell it A-N-T-I-D-I-S-E-S-T-A-B-L-I-S-H-M-E-N-T-A-R-I-N-A-S-M. Ooh, I had to spell it so fast that you guys thought I wouldn't be able to read it that fast. It's really hard to try to show off spelling a big word when it's on the screen in front of you. And it has left Dolores sorely disappointed. She insists on home, or rather, shelter schooling Mary Jane a little. Thanks for indulging that little brag there, guys. I appreciate it. I figure if you're here at the seven minute mark, we're, we're okay with letting me spell anti-disestablishmentarianism really fast. Ooh, we got a first aid kit, though. Dolores does not mess around. What started out as a spelling exercise has quickly found its way to a math revision, followed by a short physics course and ending on tinkering with random objects in the shelter. Mary Jane looks exhausted, but we can't deny the state of our shelter has improved today. Damn, Dolores just healed herself, essentially. Right, Dolores is healing herself. She needs, she's gonna die. So, and Mary Jane's gonna die, and Ted's gonna be, Ted's going out in the wasteland. So, Ted, you're going and you're bringing the map. Yep, that's what you're doing. Please come back with food. Well, it's not going to matter because they're going to be dead when you get back, Ted. So we're going to see how this goes. <laughs> Ted left for the surface. We hope he'll be back soon. Mary Jane is starving. We better give her some food today or else. Mary Jane seems sleepy all the time. She has no energy for anything. Dolores is killed from her illness, though. Hey, that's good. They're both about to starve to death, though. So this is the end for them, it would seem. A sleazy-looking trader carrying an equally scruffy bat. I don't have any food, man. Sorry. And both of them are dead? Day 26. Now 27? No, they're still hanging in there. So they probably just got one more day. Our grandparents always told us never to buy anything sight unseen. We're not about to start now. Yeah, get out of here with Sherikov the cat. All right, I'll give you guys some more water. Ooh. The offer. No, I can't. I don't have anything. Today we were visited by a strange looking little man who introduced himself as a traitor. He insisted his prices are so low that it's practically like cutting his own throat. Jesus. The least he could do was take a look at his offer, though for some reason we don't really trust him. Yeah. Sorry, I can't make that work. And both of us are going to die. So we're just waiting for Ted to come back to an empty shelter now. They're persevering against all odds. Despite his desperate attempts to sell us all kinds of things, useless and not, we turned down the man's offer. It's probably for the better. He did not look quite un he did look quite untrustworthy. Mary Jane is starving. We better give us food today or else. I don't. I can keep giving you water, but that's about it. Our last expedition brought us news of a vehicle parked just down the street. It sure looked unique, but we never got close enough to get a good look. We're almost certain it's not a bandit trap. Perhaps you should send someone over to check it out. Yeah, Mary Jane, go check it out. Hopefully it's food and you don't die today. Day 28. Nope, and she's sick. Damn it. <laughs> a shocking discovery. It was a dirty ice cream truck. It was a little crispy around the edges, and it was also missing wheels and some other crucial parts. But the seats were fairly comfortable. Wouldn't it be amazing to just drive away and leave this radioactive hell behind us? Mary Jane is starving. We better get some food today. Yeah, I, I don't... I can't. I don't have any food. I'm just gonna keep giving you both water. There it goes again. Noises. Weird noises all the time. Are they coming from the pipes? Walls? Is it something behind the door? We don't know, and it's driving us insane. We should sit down and relax. Otherwise, we might get paranoid. Yeah, yeah. You guys play checkers before you die. Day 29. I don't know how they're alive this long. I've never seen starvation. And maybe it's because I'm giving them water, and that's the only thing keeping them. Having some fun made us forget about, what was it again? Mary Jane is starving? Yeah, let's just keep giving them water. Maybe that'll hold over until he gets back. When someone knocked on the door, we were suspicious and cautious. But after a few minutes of talking... It turned out it was just a group of old ladies who were at a tea party not far from here when the bombs dropped. We thought it would only be good manners to talk to them face to face. When we opened the door, those old bats attacked us with their umbrellas, canes, and something that looked like a spiked table leg. We need to fight back. Yeah, shoot those old ladies. Day 30, Ted's back. Holy shit, did he bring food. Oh, Mary Jane died. But he brought food. It's not surprising that the few shots were enough to send those cowards running. The question is, what happens if the rifle malfunctions or we use all our ammo? We do hope it won't come to that. Otherwise, we might need to defend ourselves using knives and forks. Oh, damn it. We spoke too soon. We think the gun is broken. What do we do now? Well, we sit here with a broken gun. Hey, Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. We thought the metro station could be a good spot to scavenge for undamaged supplies. It turned out some came up with the same idea. There's a group of people living down there. They use bullets as currency. They're no bandits, but they keep to themselves. They told us to have a look around if we wanted to. We wouldn't pass any opportunity to get some more water, so when we found the toilets, we did not hesitate to fill as many bottles as we could with that murky, irradiated liquid. What a treat. 
Near the metro entrance, we discovered a tomato soup vending machine. Of course, we left most of our change in another pair of trousers, but we took whatever we could. I would have busted that shit open. No way I would have like been like, oh, I'll just leave the vending machine here, I guess. The, the group living at the station had thrown a bunch of suitcases, backpacks, and bags to form a big pile and called it a barricade. We carefully took a particularly nice-looking suitcase. It was quite tricky, and we came close to collapsing that house of cards, but thankfully we did not ruin the whole thing. Hey, we got a suitcase. Might sound paranoid yet, but we think somebody followed us. Dolores has barely any strength left. Uh, what happened to... We couldn't spare any food for Mary Jane, and eventually she reached the boiling point where a stare was enough to kill. She left without a word, but we knew she'd probably become a highway woman and get all the food cans she would ever need. Nice. Starvation. Yep, so we've got food for you. And food for you, of course. And no first aid kit, sorry. We're not certain Dolores can go outside, yeah. The siblings are back. Their group is growing bigger with each passing day as they pick tired and hungry survivors and nurse them back to health. Hey, pick us, please. However, so far, they've only won 10. Soon they will run our space for everybody. Right now, they're scouting the town, looking for a good spot to build a bigger camp, and they could really use a map. Why not take ours? Day 31. All right. Well, you know what? We're making it along here. We got Dolores back. She's sick. And we got Ted, and Mary Jane has departed so you know we're just gonna sit with our six water and our one and a half soup cans and i think i'm gonna end that one here for the day guys if you did like this one be sure to like subscribe let's see if the parents can get out of this one and of course i'll see you next time bye